uh, how do uh, people in the Federated States of Micronesia feel in general about uh, the compact and the the relationship with the United States? At, at least I know the people are really pro-America because of the fact that, you know, we've a lot of the generation that is now like the dominant uh, factor in the, in the Everson now are all born right after World War II. And they, yeah, they, you know, they feel like Everson was liberated by the U.S. And so the uh, feeling of alliance is very strong in this generation, this pro-America. And most of us were educated or are educated in the U.S. educational systems. So I can see the our uh, relationship with the U.S. to continue indefinitely. As well as there are many uh, Micronesians who serve in the U.S. Armed Forces. There are uh, American families who have served in the military and been out in the Pacific. There are American families who have somebody who've served in the Peace Corps in Micronesia. So uh, I, I think that the relationship is very broad and very deep. Linkage between our peoples is getting stronger and stronger every year. The relationship between peoples, in fact, our intermarriages, the number of people either married to American man or American man married to a female Micronesian is getting bigger and bigger every year. And our people, most of our people are also migrating out here to the, to the states here and are now living and their kids are now, there are lots of them that are born here or those that came as young people are being raised in the American way of living, going to schools. And of course, we have our, our citizens who serve in the military, not only serving in the military, but given uh, opportunities to go to some of the military academies. Yes, that's a provision that was provided under the compact. Your Secretary of Finance currently yes. uh, is, an, is a graduate is, of uh, the Naval Academy. Yes, quite impressive. Yes. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, do you have a son who's in the military? I have my youngest is in the Army, based in Kansas, Fort Riley. So that's my contribution. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we thank you for his service.